And that's how they got Ace to take over. They wanted him because Ace ate, slept, and breathed gambling. They worked out a real cute job title, too. Tangier's Public Relations Director. But the only thing he ever directed was the casino. He made his first bet when he was 15 years old, and he always made money. But he didn't bet like you or me. You know, having some fun with it, shit like that. What the hell did you learn how to do? He bet like a fucking brain surgeon. Place the checks properly. That's the way you do it. Yes, sir. He had to know everything, this guy. He'd find out the kind of inside stuff nobody else knew, and that's what he put his money on. Even back home years ago, when we were first hanging out together, he'd know if the quarterback was on coke. Columbia for 20 if his girlfriend was knocked up. 20 times on Columbia. He'd get the wind velocity so he could judge the field goals. He even figured out the different bounce you got off the different kinds of wood they used on college basketball courts, you know? He'd be working on this shit day and night. There was nothing about a game he was going to bet that he didn't know. He's got down at six. Got me down at six. Yeah, Season after season, the prick was the only guaranteed winner I ever knew. But he was so serious about it all that I don't think he ever enjoyed himself. But that's just the way he was. But back then, the bosses didn't give a fuck about whether he enjoyed himself or not. To them, he was a cash register. All they had to do was ring the bell and take the money. Especially Remo, who was a fucking degenerate gambler who always lost. God, somebody's a good time to... All those fucking sweeps. I mean, unless Ace made his bets. Ace made more money for them on a weekend than I could do heist and joints for a month. Whatever Ace picked up on the street, he told Remo. You know, I mean, fixed fights, dope tosses, crooked fucking zebras, locked in point spreads. He told fucking Remo everything. And to tell you the truth, I don't blame him. Hey. Keeping Remo happy with money was the greatest insurance policy in the world. Son of a bitch. How the hell did you get alcohol in Michigan? Nobody ever had alcohol. How did you do it? Well, that's why they paid so well. You see? Never tells me nothing. Ace, where are we going after next week? Well, it's a little too early. I'd say Thursday would be good. I'll know by then. Is that all right? Okay. You come by the house? I'll come by. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Good job, that way. Keep it up. Okay, Ace. Hey, Nick. You know, I I'll be right out. I'll jump on the left. Nicky, see that guy? Keep a good eye on him. He's making a lot of money for us. And he's going to continue making a lot of money for us. So keep a good eye on him. I don't like the fucking friends out there that put our brains. Okay. All right. Okay. Then I'll come on. Yeah. All right. Let me take this. Too. So now, on top of everything else, I got to make sure nobody fucks around with the golden Jew. Cheers.